Now there's a very thin line between the freight forwarder and LSP and you will see in the different regions, different countries, they overlap with each other. Okay, uh, LSP can be a freight forwarder, a freight forwarder can be LSP. What I consider for the LSP, LSP is a bigger company than the freight forwarder. As you will go the name, if, if you will see the name itself, it's a freight forwarder, right? Freight forwarder would be more focusing on managing your freights. In LSP, it's a logistic service provider. In logistics, a lot of things come apart from the freight. Logistic service provider can be a bigger company where they can also own the warehouses also. Okay, they can own the warehouses also. They can have more resources. Whether they can have their own transports, in some places they would be having their own transport. But I have never seen a LSP company which have all the places they have old transports. They need to take help from the freight forwarders. They need to take help from the carriers. Okay, so you can consider a LSP as a bigger freight forwarder companies. Now, a different thing between a carrier and freight forwarder and LSP which freight forwarder and LSP both would be doing, they would be doing a consolidation. They would be doing a mixing. They, would, they can mix the shipments the, from the different consigners to make it more optimized. They will be taking it from one customer, another customer, another customer, different shipments. They will take it. They will consolidate the shipment and they will send it. Carrier does not do. Carrier is more between a, a, a leg uh, they work on. They depend on the information from the LSP or freight forwarder that from where I need to pick and from where I need to do, drop. They are not into that planning. L carriers are more into the execution. So if you say carrier is LSP, uh, it can be in some countries that terminologies can uh, overlap, but carrier is totally different. LSP is totally different. LSP and freight forwarder, there can be some overlap which can happen, right? So LSP would be the bigger companies, okay? They would be managing the uh, not only the freights, they can also provide you some logistic services also. And they would be having a contract, uh, freight forwarder would generally do, they do the sport buying. So they would be having their own tools. Technology perspective, LSP would be having a more advanced technology and tools. Freight forwarder would be more on the sport buying. They would be knowing the capacity and the volumes and LSP would be owning the capacity on the volumes. Maybe not their own capacity, but they would be owning. So what do I mean? A little bit complex, try to, try to concentrate guys, okay? So what I'm saying that freight forwarder go for the sport buying. They know the capacity and the volumes which is available, which can be provided to the client. LSPs, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Can own the capacity and the volumes rather than operating on the sport buying. Sport buying is that uh, when, a, when a shipment is coming, they will look at what are the, with the tools that in this area, these lanes, these routes, what are the carriers who provide the services and those carriers, how much they charge it. And then uh, what, whether they have a sports available and what are the proper appropriate sport, they would be buying it. So that they would be working on that tendency. LSP would be working into the tendency where they would be having a blanket contract with the carrier because LSP are the bigger company. They would be having a, a company who's, may, who's operating the ocean shipments, the company who's maintaining the road shipments. They would be having a blanket contract with them. With the blanket contract, what they get from their clients is that they already get the volumes reserved for them. They already get a capacity reserved from, for them. Although they don't own the uh, uh, transports, but they have a blanket or the bigger contracts with the carrier so that they can uh, have a uh, volumes they can manage it and they always uh, have a ownership on the capacity with those contracts freight forwarder or generally go with the sport bank now it's there's nothing like that the freight forwarder cannot go for the bigger contracts the blanket contracts there's nothing like that that lsp cannot go for the uh, sport buying right <coughs> so the things overlaps with each other Okay, so freight forwarder and LSP has a very thin line in between. So with these terminologies, now you would be able to understand who is a carrier, who is a freight forwarder, who is LSP, who is consignee, who is consigner. I hope that would be clear.